If they've never bought a car from you or they've never bought a car from Rikers, what's their demeanor? Guarded. Guarded, defensive, concerned, skeptical. So if you can eliminate two primary customer fears in the first 10 minutes of the engagement, what happens to your chances of creating a delivery? It goes up. It goes up. Look, what's a good deal in Columbus, Ohio? In the mind of the consumer. The Say again? The internet price? Okay. Well, obviously not, or they'd be paying you the internet price every time they walked in. It's never good enough for the customer. They well, you know, they, we say they always want more, and that's part of the way we've trained them. But obviously, it's got to be good enough, or they wouldn't be saying yes. How many, how many new cars did you guys sell last month? Just under 300. Okay, so 300 people almost right. came to the conclusion that it was a good deal. Right. What we want to do is we want to take it to 400. That means we've got to help more people. And the, the answer to the question is there is no answer to the question. It's a perception. It's a mindset. If Dylan convince, if I feel like Dylan's the right guy, Reichert's the right place, the Sorrento's the right vehicle, I came in on the price, you can quantify all this, you guarantee me I can't pay too much, and you guarantee me I can't pay the wrong vehicle, do you think you might be helping my good deal mindset? Yeah. And the answer is yes, you are. But it takes a decent presentation slash conversation. This is cool, but make no mistake about it, without a professional creating value, there's not much value to it. I mean, paintless dent repairs on, like they do paintless dent repair here. In fact, in every Motor Trend store, they do paintless dent repair. Do you know what percentage of the population has ever paid a paintless dent repair person for a paintless dent repair? Point, point two. They don't even know what it is. They don't know what it, what it costs to uh, fix a, pay, a, a dent this size. Because when someone, get, when someone comes out from shopping and they see that someone's dinged or dented their car, what do they do? Get mad and then just deal with it. They get mad. Do they immediately Google paintless dent repair place near me? Mm -hmm. No. Nobody ever gets them fixed. But do they pay for them? Absolutely. Absolutely. At resale. At resale, they pay for them, but they don't know that because in our business, we're not smart enough to line item, uh, pay, you know, dings and dents minus $477. We should, but we don't. Why don't we? Because it's not the way we've always done business. You know who does it? The company, the publicly held company that makes double the profit that a new car store does on their used cars, and that's CarMax. CarMax kills it profit-wise. Why? Because they do a better job. I mean, when I, I get my car appraised at a CarMax, there's four of them in Atlanta. I get, it, I get it appraised twice a year just so I can see what their latest appraisal process is because it is so strong. I mean, it is powerful. You know what the biggest number on their appraisal is? The tax credit. Now, if I buy a Sorento from you and I trade in a Honda Pilot, I get a tax credit, don't I? Yeah, but the managers use that as another closing tool if the person is asking for more money on the trade or something like that. You can so, see, yeah. the, the, that's, that's such, uh, okay. Yeah, I hear that all the time. We don't disclose it up front because we use it later on. Well, maybe you wouldn't need to use it later on if you disclosed it up front. And by the way, you can still use it to handle the objection when the customer wants more money for the trade. You just reiterate it. I mean, that's, that's like 1979 thinking. But So does it make sense to, to, to talk about the card like this, to quantify the value? And, and again, I, don't, I mean, I'm, this is the first time I've ever seen the card.